I would like to begin by introducing Chairman, T Chairman Valentin Lopez for some opening remarks. Chairman Lopez is the chairman of the Ama Mutsun Tribal Band. He is a Native American advisor to the University of California on issues related to repatriation, and he is a valued colleague on this campus. Val is actively involved in efforts to restore tribal indigenous knowledge and ensure history is accurately told. Val? Thank you very much. Um, again, um, my name is Valentin Lopez. I'm the chair of the Ama Mutsun Tribal Band. And our tribe is comprised of the descendants that were taken to missions San Juan Batista and Santa Cruz in the greater um, Monterey Bay area of California. Today, this event would, is being um, hosted by, uh, by, um, by UC Santa Cruz. And UC Santa Cruz sits on the unceded um, territory of the Weepi tribe, which is part of the greater Awaswas nation. Sadly, there's no survivors, no known survivors of the Awaswas nation today. Um, they, uh, they have all perished as part of the three periods of colonization that wanted to destroy their culture and their spirituality and their humanity. The California Indians are often referred to as hunters and gatherers. And to be quite honest, that is extremely, extremely um, uh, um, terrible, terrible to us. It's very offensive. Our ancestors were very effective land managers and they managed the lands for cultural resources, for cultural resources, for the animals, for people, for insects, for birds, et cetera. We, we, um, we've been working for, since 2006 with universities and much of that work has been with UC Santa Cruz to help us restore the indigenous knowledge of our ancestors about how to steward and manage these landscapes. And those, and those studies that we've done are just showing in so many ways about how Mother Earth must be stewarded going forward. If we are to survive and deal with climate change, it must be indigenous led and it must be based on the indigenous knowledge of our ancestors. And that is true for not only Native Americans, but that is true for all indigenous cultures around the world. What's important to understand is that um, we, what, what's really offensive today is that also, is that, you know, we have knowledge that is not appreciated unless it's verified by, by, um, by science. I mean, we have knowledge that we are people who would burn landscapes over five, seven, eight years. And that was important for managing the fuel loads and keep the fuel loads down. That was important for getting high productions of seed plants. That was for important for maintaining um, our, 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 our basket tree materials and our for traps and, and, um, and nets, et cetera. And they, they question about our, when we claimed that we burned it with certain frequencies, that, was, that always came into question. But now that science has validated that, now they say it's true. We also talk about how we would manage the oceans and we took care of the little fishes, the sardines, the anchovies, the smelts, and how those were important seed food, uh, uh, food sources for many, for many fish, including the salmon who, before they would be, come in from the oceans, before they head up streams, they needed to get their strength up and get the body weight on and, 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 and get the energy while they, while, they're, 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 while they transition from salt water to fresh water. And so our people made sure that whenever they came in, whenever the salmon came in, that there was a there was an abundance of those small fishes so that they can get the strength they needed for their journeys um, to the spawning beds up above. We took care of the wetlands for the migrating geese. These knowledges are the ones that must be 
that we must deal with if we're going to deal with climate change, as I said, going forward. And we invite the people, the public to come and work with us to help us restore these traditions and to restore these stewardship practices to the land. We're talking about environmental justice today. Our tribe is federally unrecognized. We own no lands. For over 200 years, we did not have access to any of our lands at all. Today, we are gaining some access to the lands for stewardship, for ceremony, for prayer. And we're thankful for that, but, every, but, but it, it, must, uh, it, must, it must continue to grow and we must have these rights returned to us and we must have land returned to us. So today we're talking about environmental justice and we look forward to the talk. I appreciate, um, I, I thank the university and I, I thank the Institute for Social Transformation for inviting me to speak tonight. Mm -hmm.